Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a just chatting session here with the Modern Geek Crash. I am the Modern Geek. Now on to a serious moment. Uh, I'm trying to help raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, this week here started actually yesterday, November 6th through November 12th. They're doing what we call Warrior Week. Uh, with Veterans Day being this week on Friday, November the 10th, they're doing this for to help veterans. A little bit about me. I'm going to put up a picture here for you guys just to kind of see uh, why the Wounded Warrior Project means a lot to me. Is With this picture here, that is me when I was in basic. Uh, that was actually at tech school. Back in the summer of 2003, I was in the military. I served in the United States Air Force from February of 2003 until April of 2009. The later part of 2007, early 2008, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, bipolar disorder with major depressive disorder. Uh, and that was the reason... The reason I was medically retired was because I was on a mood stabilizer called Depakote. Uh, Depakote and keeps me at a level playing field instead of going up highs and lows. Uh, so what that meant with being on that mood stabilizer, I was no longer a deployable asset. How I found out about the diagnostic, again, I don't go into this ser a whole lot with anybody, so this is really the first time I'm coming out and saying what happened while I was in the military. Uh, so how I found out about the diagnosis was I tried to strangle myself. Uh, I did that in front of a group of people and that prompted my supervisor to get involved. Then I was sent to the medical facilities to be evaluated. A lot of people while I was in the military for those first four or five years Everybody knew what was going on because I just put on my happy face mask and go about my business and do what I had to do at work. Um, so after I tried strangling myself and my first, uh, what they call first shirt or first sergeant was called, um, they brought a one of our my supervisors came up and talked to me. Um, one of the other staff sergeants in my Flight came up and they talked to me, see how things were going, what was going on, why I was having these suicidal thoughts. Um, and I explained to them what was going on. Uh, so they, first sergeant hit, said that I needed to go to the mental health medical facility to get treated. I was there for a week. Um, at the facility, learning how to cope with new conditions that I've never dealt with, didn't understand what was going on at that time. I've gotten better at understanding it. And again, there's no reason I should not really not understand it because we have the internet nowadays. But at that time, the doctors had put me on the Depakote while I was in the medical facility to help regulate my mood. When I returned to base the following week, they assigned me a base psychiatrist to and do an assessment, and that would be the decision either make me a civilian or let me continue in the, the Air Force. Uh, again, the decision was to re medically retire me. I was not ready for. I was released in, from the military in uh, April of 2009, had served a year total of six years and two months. I had originally signed a six-year contract, but because of the medical board process and the length it takes to get one done, I was in an extra two months. Uh, today, I still miss the guys that I worked with, the French friendships, relationships that we built after all that time. It's one of those things that means a lot to me. Because I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't know the guys that I worked with. Then, after that, once I was released from the military, going on to civilian life, 
had to process stuff then and there. Went to get a, get my associate's degree in computer science uh, while I was taking classes to get my associate's degree, which was roughly about two years after. I had another episode uh, where I had overdosed. Uh, tried taking my I actually had just had a prescription of Adderall or yeah Adderall refilled and I took the whole bottle that trip was to the medical facility was not as nice because I spent the night in ICU so they could monitor to make sure my heart wasn't gonna pop out of my chest because of all the Ritalin and every or the Adderall my heart didn't race and pop out of my chest. Um, then once they realized I was okay to be transported to the medical facility, they had to transport me, but it wasn't, again, like the first time I went, I was actually handcuffed, put in the back of a police cruiser where it's not a comfortable ride, and I had a two-hour drive from where I live to the medical facility. That was not a fun day. Uh, nor would I want to do it ever again. Now, this has been the hardest thing I've ever done, as I said earlier. Uh, I hope my story can help, and it will help somebody. I've not shared this information with many people, as I said earlier, just because I was I thought I would be a disappointment to my friends, my family, back at home. Uh, if you can please donate to the Wounded Warrior Project to help others like me get the help they need. This is Tom. I will catch you all on the flip side.